In today's video, we would like to take you to Ayyub Sultan district. And even though it is a very well-known district among the tourists, we would like to show you some other interesting little places that really worth a visit when you're coming here. So let's go. Going to Pierlotti area from the most touristic areas such as Sultanahmet or Taksim is easy and reachable. From the Eminunu main bus stop, you can take any of these bus numbers. Then you have to get off in the bus stop called Teleferic Pierlotti. Or from Taksim, you can also take a bus number 55T and then get off in the bus stop called Ayub Sultan. The cable car per person is a bit less than 3 Turkish Liras, which is the same price as any other of the public transportation in the city, and the ride lasts about 2 minutes. Remember that the cable car can be paid with the special card for the public transportation in Istanbul, which is called Istanbul Card, and for that we already have a video about it. You can also find the video's link in the description box. This hill was named as Pierlotte after the famous French writer who used to live in the city and settle in this neighborhood of Istanbul. Here he used to write his novel Aziyade, overlooking the Golden Horn. The outstanding views we have from the Golden Horn are unique, and this is why many tourists come to this place, especially during the sunset. On the top of the hill we can find some restaurants where we can delight a Turkish coffee or tea while admiring the views. Also, a hotel can be found here, and to those Nargile fans, also there is a good place for it. In this place, we can also find the Ayyub Sultan Cemetery, which is one of the oldest and largest ones in the city, and where we can see tombs of many important characters of the past. This is a very nice place to come and see the beautiful views that we can have from Istanbul, especially from the famous Golden Horn. Uh, I totally recommend uh, coming to this place uh, either very early in the morning, so that way you can take the cable car, which comes uh, all the way up here, because going up on your own by foot, it can be a bit exhausting, especially during the summer. So if you come here, just do it very early in the morning. Uh, we arrived here today, it is a Sunday, so we arrived here around 10 a.m and it was already a bit crowded. We had to wait in line about 10-15 minutes uh, to get in the cable car and right now we just drank a coffee, tea and everything and right now we are going down by foot. So here um, you will enjoy it a lot. It was the first mosque built by Fatih Sultan Mehmed in 1458. In 1800, the mosque was rebuilt by Sultan Selim III after a big earthquake. The Ottoman sultans, after gaining access to the throne, used to have their sword girding ceremonies here. Another place to visit next to the mosque is the tomb of Ayyub Sultan, who was a person who hosted the Prophet Muhammad in his house during his journey from Mecca to Medina, becoming later on a Prophet's companion and standard bearer, and who died outside the city walls in the year 6 670, during some Arab attacks. As well, some of the Prophet Muhammad's personal belongings are preserved here. A 
after going up uh, to, to Pierlotti Hill, now we have decided to come to this place, which actually this is one of our favorite places to eat here where every time we come to, to Ayub Sultan neighborhood. And this uh, Turkish traditional dish is called um, bubec. So this is some sort of, 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 of pide, and we really enjoy it. Actually, uh, before I used to live uh, around this area, so every weekend or something, we used to come here. So if, if, you, if you would like to try something different um, here in Ayub Sultan, we definitely recommend you coming here. Walking through this holy place is a nice and different experience. Markets selling religious things among souvenirs can be seen. Also photogenic old Ottoman houses can be found and to those photograph lovers this is a great place to take amazing pictures. Also during uh, the Ramadan uh, period this is a great place if you really want to experience something different and something unique uh, which is much more local and we can see many pilgrims uh, coming from other, uh, other cities of, uh, of Turkey and even from other parts in Istanbul. After finishing your walking tour through, through Ayub Sultan area, we would like to recommend you as well going to Miniatur, which is a very interesting place that you can go look around. And right now we will show you how you can get there from, uh, from this area. If you want to come to Mina Turk right after Ayub Sultan, then we totally recommend you taking one of the gondolas that we have just across uh, the Ayub main area. Uh, you will see there one uh, ferry station, so, so you, uh, you just have to go there. You have three options to come here. You can take a, a bus, but you have to transfer two or three times, which is longer and it may be a bit more difficult for, uh, for the tourists and maybe you might get lost. The second one is that you can take a ferry there, but it doesn't uh, depart that often. So that's why you have to wait minimum half an hour or even one hour. But we have found another way. Uh, there are some uh, little gondolas as the one that we have right behind me. And those ones, they will take you there just directly to miniature for 35 liters uh, per gondola. Uh, it doesn't matter how many people are going there it's just 35 liters per gondola or you can take uh, another one which is, which costs only 250 uh, liters per person and they will just cross you uh, uh, through the golden horn and and then from here we will take another bus so this is the way we will show you so the easiest ways for you will be taking a gondola from Ayub uh, Sultan uh, ferry station all the way to Miniatur or you can do what we are doing Once we arrive to the other port called Sudluje, cross the street outside the port. Take any of these buses, 41 ST, 47 Che, or 47, at the Sudluje bus stop. After two or three stops, get off in, in the one called Miniaturk. This place brings together the rich architectural heritage of civilizations that had ruled and left their marks in Turkey. Its slogan is a small model of a big country, and in one place we are traveling all around the country. 135 places in total are shown here, 62 of which are from Istanbul, 60 from Anatolia, and 13 from the Ottoman territory outside of Turkey, including two of the seven wonders of the ancient world, such as Artemis Temple and Halicarnassus Mausoleum. Also, a free mobile app to this place is available in, in the App Store and Google Play. Just look for it as Miniaturk and you can install it to your mobile devices, where you can also find the audio guide to each place in nine different languages, including English, Spanish, Arabic, Persian, German, or even French, so as maps of the place and other activities to do or areas to see. The entrance fee for foreign tourists is 15 liters, and it can be paid in cash or with credit cards. Foreign currencies aren't accepted. The museum is open between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. every day. 
Hopefully you have enjoyed and liked this video and these are some of the other places you can see and visit while you're here in Ayub Sultan area. And Mini Turkey is not in, in Ayub Sultan area, this one is in Bayolu, but it is very close from here. So if you're coming with, with children and if you would like them to enjoy a bit more of, uh, of Turkey in miniature, then that will be a great option for them. And, and also if you don't come with, with any children, but if you would like to see some other of the most important monuments in Turkey, then uh, that is a great option to go and, and get an idea. Of, of special monuments. So thanks a lot for watching our video and if you would like to keep receiving more tips and recommendations from locals about Istanbul, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time, bye-bye.